Jason Trombach, the conservation specialist for Millborne Seeds. Back out here in the field that we documented last year, um, the steps we took last year in this field, it was no till right into soybean stubble, which was ideal. He used Plateau and Roundup as a pre-emergent application. And he had a, a really bad water hemp problem last year. And we did some documentation, so he did a lot of clipping on it. And it's basically the whole field looked like it was water hemp. Now we're back out here again a year later and just want to show you kind of the results and what it looks like now. And you can see like all the grasses and the flowers that are in the mix all basically right here represented in front of me. Um, you know, with the green needle grass, there's some black eyed Susan, western wheatgrass, uh, some big blue stem that's just starting to head out here, um, the Maximilian sunflowers, uh, some purple prairie clover off to the side of me, white prairie clover. And a cool plant to notice here is this. Uh, yellow blossom alfalfa. We use this in this mix here so the guys plan in the future to so possibly hay it when it comes out of CRP. So with the yellow blossom alfalfa, so later maturing alfalfa, so it might allow, um, compared to the purple, it's about two or three weeks later maturing, so it allows the nesting pheasants to get um, you know, off their nest and to get their hatch out before the guy actually come out here and hay it. You know, it looks awesome for basically a second year. You know, it just went through about a a little over a year of a growing season. Um, we're beginning in July right now, so it hasn't grown much this year, but uh, looks really good, and just want to show you what it looks like now. Mm -hmm.